Hi, my name is Nick Francis and I'm from a company called Cool Energy. Um, I, we've been thinking a lot of this company because we create uh, carbon credits under the clean development mechanism about what's going to happen in Copenhagen 2009, the talks on climate change. And I think one of the interesting things about the debate is everyone kind of looks at China and goes, oh, China's the problem. Look, they're building a new coal-fired power station every week and they're the real polluters and, you know, they're never going to change. It's, but from, you know, from somebody who's been now watching this very closely for five years, you know, albeit as a kind of businessman in the energy efficiency space, one of the things is I'm not frightened by China. I mean, I think, yes, their emissions are growing rapidly, but they're still a third per capita of those of, of individuals in America. And yes, they are, they are committed to growing GDP and therefore do need power and therefore that does create emissions. But they're also, as a country, they really have understood and used the clean development mechanism and Kyoto. They have, they've received, in terms of funding, to support the change of their activities to being more CO2 efficient, they've, 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 they've uh, attracted 70% of all that funding globally so far. So not only are they... You know, not only do they understand it, not only have they been good at attracting funding to help them act on climate. I think the other interesting thing is that every time I hear their Minister for Environment or in fact, or, or, or the, or the um, President speak, you know, they're very clear. In the short term, they need GDP growth and they're getting, they're getting power any way they can get it. But they're actually very, very clearly committed to changing that over time and introducing renewables. And in fact, recently, the Environment Minister has been telling our Environment Minister, look, you, know, you are not going to understand the technologies, you're not going to understand the pro policy or the processes, and you're not going to create the businesses to respond to this place unless you set meaningful targets. This is a country that really does, I believe, understand the economic benefit of signing up to and setting targets because, of the, you know, because you're building a company with the technologies and businesses of the future as opposed of the past. So China, for me, are not the great fear at all. You know, they have a, they're not democratic. And in this case, I think that's really helpful and useful. You know, we are seeing in America at the moment that the democracy is actually stopping them in any way meaningfully taking on this international and global agenda. Whereas in China, I think they've got it. I think they will address it. I think they'll come to Kyoto positively. And, and I, I see them actually as the great leadership hope in this space.